Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I would like to share with all of you a message given by Luz de Maria. This is the era of the third fiat, the era when evil is in a battle against our Lord. Therefore, please take a moment in sharing this video with others, as we are heading closer and closer to the end of times. We hope that by spreading these messages across the ends of the world, more people, through these messages and warnings given by heaven, with the help of all of our prayers, fastings, and sacrifices, in the hope for the conversion of sinners, to convert and come back to Christ before it is too late, all for the betterment and salvation for all of these souls, and all to the glory and delight of the Most Holy Trinity. Let us now humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all ways, including the discerning of the messages, as He is all-powerful, all-omnipotent, just as He is consubstantial with God the Father and the Son. And with a great act of trust and love to the Holy Spirit, that He may give us the grace to discern these messages from heaven. Join me and say, Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may truly be wise and ever enjoy His consolations, but most of all, to discern these messages, that we may always differentiate the truth from deception and always glorify you through all of our works and actions. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The message given by our Lord Jesus Christ to Luz de Maria de Bonilla starts now. Beloved ones, I bless you. Beloved ones, I bless you with my heart and with my love. My people, you are my beloved children, and I give my word with you so that you may be spiritually prepared. I want you to convert and be fraternal. This is what I desire, for you to have a single heart, one with my mother's. My people, during this time, you should constantly seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Many people, confused by the human ego's pride, wish to flee from where I have summoned them, which is not correct. This is a moment of prevention as well as decision. Prevention so that you do not stray onto other roads, and choice so that you can distinguish and stand firmly with me, my Holy Spirit. You must work in my vineyard so that you might wait for my angel of peace who is in my house waiting for me to send him to my people with my own love. This is why no one has ever seen him in person. My angel of peace will appear after the Antichrist and I don't want you to confuse the two. My people, it is very important for you to be cautious. My angel of peace is not Elijah or Enoch. He is not an archangel. He is my mirror of love, filling every human being who needs it with my love. In hell, the devil has left very few of his own. Most are on earth, working against souls. His spiritual fight is against those who remain with me. The conflict is spiritual, but it also affects you by raising and infecting your human ego, making you proud and arrogant, believing that you know everything and that you are necessary where you are so that your brothers and sisters will adore you, which is not good. 
The devil declares himself the winner when you are not humble. My people, listen to me. It is important for you to sow humility in your hearts so that your minds and thoughts would speak of what you carry within you. This is the age of the third fiat, when evil is at war with my mother's children. The fire of ungodliness is spreading. The powers are demonstrating their might and anger against the children, whom my dear Saint Michael the Archangel will protect. My children must remain prepared to face the impending hunger that is already threatening humanity. Shortages will be severe. The environment will be exceedingly hot in certain places and severely cold in others. Nature is revolting against the human race's sin. Climate change will be constant and the elements will rise up against humans. Prepare yourselves. The soul must be a lamp giving light in the face of darkness that the earth will suffer for a few hours. Fearlessly trusting in my protection, continue to comply with all that I ask of you so that you would be victorious fearlessly. I am your God. I carry you in my sacred heart and you are my great treasure. I bless you, your Jesus. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Brothers and sisters, Keeping us obedient to the divine requests, our beloved Jesus gives us details regarding events for humanity. Always called to unity as brothers and sisters and with one heart as God's people, we recognize that we are not indispensable, but that God alone is. Let us live focused on the end goal persevering inside the divine love and faith dictated by God's constant presence for humanity. Our Lord says we shall confront darkness, but he does not mean the three days of darkness. Therefore, let us wait with trust in divine protection and the assurance that the people of God are cherished and guarded by their Creator with our faith not wavering, but growing in each of us. Amen. Mm -hmm.